Hey everybody, welcome back to Brandon's Ballistics. I'm your host, Brandon Barker, and today, well, I'm with a gun, not out on the range. So uh, I'm, well, I'm trying something new. Uh, of course, Ollie has to be here. Uh, of course, if I'm if I'm doing an inside video, he has to be here. Uh, some people like me talking about the specifications on a gun, uh, my first thoughts on it, etc. And some people just are there for shooting. So uh, I think for now, come on, Bubby. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to break my reviews up into two videos. One, first impressions, uh, you know, my personal thoughts. <sighs> He decided to take a ride off the table on a uh, tablecloth. <laughs> and he's back. Come on, puppy. And, uh, you know, the specifications of the gun in, you know, in question. And then on a on the next video, or you know, whenever I do the video, you know, the actual range video of me shooting. That will keep that video shorter. And, you know, I guess overall, both of them will be overall shorter. So maybe people who are just in it for uh, less of me talking and more just the information might make them happy. So, <laughs> uh, I, I do know I do tend to talk a lot, so uh, it's something I am working on. Well, today, we'll go ahead and jump, actually, before we jump into it, code word, uh, in case somebody wants to click off. Uh, code word will be uh, S, U-S, S. So, code word's S. <laughs> All right, now let's jump into the gun. So, this is a Century Arms C-308 Sporter which is basically a set me clone. Uh, those who are not familiar with set me, it's basically a battle rifle in 308 or 7.62 by uh, 51R. So uh, yeah, it fires uh, you know pretty substantial round. <laughs> uh, you know, 308 of a battle rifle is pretty fun. Uh, and no, I've actually not shot this yet. I have purposefully waited. Uh, that's where you can actually see my first opinions on how this thing runs uh, when I do the video. So uh, this has been in my gun safe for now almost three weeks with me just looking at it. Every time I open the gun safe, like, soon, <laughs> soon I'll do it. Uh, yeah, this thing, I've, I've been looking forward to shooting this for a while. Let's go ahead and go through, and here comes Ollie back. Let's go ahead and go through a little bit of specifications. So with the barrel... This comes with, uh, you know, this being a Century Arms rifle, this comes with the standard Chevron muzzle brake. Uh, that helps whenever you shoot. Uh, the bullet comes out here. The expanding gas helps push uh, the barrel down to try to negate some of that upward rise with the recoil. So it helps you keep on target a little bit better. Uh, so at 18 inches, uh, I can't remember if I said the barrel is 18 inches, but if not, the barrel is 18 inches long. <laughs> the overall length is 40.2 inches. So, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a bit long of a rifle. As you can kind of see, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a little long. But you can still get by. I mean, even the charging handle way up here... You know, it's it's almost takes my full reach to be able to reach it while still staying in the, you know, ready to fire position. So if somebody has a short, you know, short arm, short reach, might have some problems. Not to mention, that brings up the uh, next thing, the magazine release. Uh, if you keep a firing grip, at least with my hands, I cannot reach the magazine release button. So I have to break my firing grip to be able to reach that. Uh, this has a similar magazine as an AK does. You know, it kind of swivels in. You can actually see the detent there. So we put that in there first and swivel it in. Uh, they have different size magazines. Uh, this one here is a 20 round. They also make five rounds, uh, five round magazines. And, you know, the availability, uh, they're not that bad. The cool thing about Century Arms, you know, Century Arms C308 uh, Sporter is a lot of the uh, regular set me you know furnitures and you know aftermarket parts will not will fit on this rifle. Not to mention, it has a rail on top. The uh, the original set me did not, so it was really hard to mount a scope to original set me. So uh, you know, Century Arms thankfully thought about that, and yeah, it's uh, it's one of the uh, set me clones that has a rail, so that makes it very very nice. <laughs> so you can put yourself a good scope on this. And, um, you know, be able to reach out and, yeah, well, this thing is definitely not, it's, it's a 5 MOA rifle. 
So uh, while some people can get three MOA, uh, I think I, uh, the review I was watching, some people was able to get two and three MOA. But, you know, standard is five, five, five MOA, which, uh, you know, that's, that's not bad for a battle rifle. Okay, man, this is not a sniper rifle. Uh, speaking of 308, uh, this will fire 308 or, um, I think I actually mentioned that, or 762 by 51 r uh, the Russian 308. Uh, so that, you know, it will fire either one of those. Uh, let's see, uh, the rifle itself, unloaded, is nine pounds. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little heavy. I mean, it's definitely heavier than an AR, but it fires 308. So, keep in mind, it needs to be built up a little bit to be able to, uh, you know, be work to be able to withstand the extra force. Yeah, if you look up here, it kind of looks like you have an adjustable gas block. However, that is not the case. Uh, if you give me just a second, there we go. So now that I got it turned the right way, instead of an, an adjustable gas block, instead you have a nice little cleaning kit that you have with your, you know, uh, installed on the rifle at any time, so you can, you know, clean your rifle. So, uh, and you can put whatever you want on that in that cleaning kit. Uh, standard, it came with a uh, a brush and a, you know a few other things. However, uh, all that is missing out of this one. So uh, I'll be putting whatever I want in it. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of cool. Now that leads to question: If this doesn't have a adjustable you know gas block, then what kind of action is this? Well, this is a roller delayed blowback. So, uh, you know, there's no gas tubes, no gas system, yeah, nothing like that. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, it's just roller delayed blowback. So there's not too much that can go wrong with this rifle. Of course, that also means heavier recoil. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, so looking over here, we have the charging handle. Uh, it stows up out of the way after it's charged. Let me go ahead and take the magazine out. So whenever you charge it, you flip it up here to where you know you can get a hold of it. Now, whenever the hammer is down, it actually is pretty heavy to charge this firearm. You know, somebody that's kind of weak would you know have some problems. Um, I know when I first picked it up, I thought I was doing something wrong because you know, I'm used to things being pretty smooth. However, you know, this is a uh, set me. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit uh, heavy. I know it, I, I really didn't make it look that heavy, but trust me, it's it's heavy. A cool feature of this, however, you can set it up to do the HK slap. So, uh, you, know, uh, what, you can have it ready, staged, put your magazine in, and then you're ready to fire. <laughs> so yeah, you can do the HK slap with set me. <laughs> I don't know why the HK slap's just fun, or charging any firearm like that is fun. It just, it just is. Uh, it's just one of those things. It's, it's, it's just fun. <laughs> of course, we have a tactical strap on because what would be a battle rifle without a tactical strap on? Ask yourself that question. <laughs> uh, taking this apart is pretty easy, quite honestly. You got uh, these two pins here. If you kind of notice, they have a little retainer, so uh, you can use, you know, pretty much anything to be able to push that in. Pliers makes it real easy, but if you don't have pliers on you, you can make do with anything else. You can actually make do with a bullet itself. Uh, use the rim of it to push against it. And then you can take those things out. The safety, you just kind of you know take all the way over to the like, to where you would expect full auto would be, and the safety pulls out as well. And, and you know, of course, you really don't need to go that far. Uh, once you take the back off, you can then strip everything out of the rifle, and as far as Cleaning wise, uh, for just a simple breakdown, you know, simple range cleaning, that's really about as far as you need to go. So, uh, you know, this is a pretty simple rifle. The safety is, um, you know, not bad. You know, it, it's a, uh, I mean, I, I, it's, it feels cheap. I, I, I'll just go ahead and say it, it feels cheap. Uh, but keep in mind, this is a, you know, old design. So, uh, you know, Man, this is Century Arms take on it, so I mean, but they use a lot of the older parts, uh, some new that they manufactured and some old. So uh, that's why the older parts are still interchangeable with their, you know, uh, C308 Sporter rifle. And I, I don't know about y'all, but this, 
I just can't wait to uh, to be able to fire this. One thing I have noticed when I was just doing dry fire to make sure that it functions, just uh, quickly, okay, I'm gonna make sure she's empty, is the trigger is, uh, well, uh, I don't know if you can hear the little click. So, uh, you know, you can use that single stage, pick, pick up the slack. Now I've hit the wall. Or no, now I've hit the wall, sorry. And then, it's pretty nice. Uh, once you take up that slack, so it, for a single stage, it caught twice. Uh, before it only caught once. Maybe it's just because I was focusing, focusing more. I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's... Just now realizing, it looks like I have two black eyes uh, right now. <laughs> See how tired I am. I just came off of work. So yeah, uh, I guess a dirt. <laughs> uh, uh, worse kicking my butt, apparently. But yeah, this is... Uh, I can't wait. I really can't. Uh, the muzzle brake is uh, 5 8 by 24 inch threading. So if you want to put a different muzzle device on there, keep your threading in mind. That's where, you know, you don't have to buy an adapter or, or God forbid, have to go through re-threading. Uh, the sights of the rifle. Another cool thing about this one is you have four different sights. Uh, so starting out, you have your open sight, which is pretty standard. Next, make sure I turn it the right way. Yes. Next, you have your 200 yard marker, your 300 yards, and your 400 yards. And then you're back to your standard sight. So, uh, you know, once you get this thing sighted in, as at, once you get your distance, your, you know, roundabout guessing where your distances are, you can quickly get on target. So, or at least that's the hope. I will find out more about that when I shoot the thing. Uh, not to mention whenever I. You know, finally decide what kind of optic I'm gonna put on this. Of course, if I put an optic on there, I won't be using this. But you kind of get the you get what I'm saying. I want to put an optic on it that I can co-witness, not co-witness. I'm sorry, that I can still use this as backup. You know, basically where the scope sits up high enough that I can see underneath here to the front uh, to the front side as well. That's always my goal with rifles. Uh, that's where the scope is damaged or something. I can still have my backup irons. Uh, speaking of that trigger. I should have said this already. It is a 12 and a half pound trigger. So, uh, yeah, it's a heavy trigger. Uh, but that's kind of to be expected. AR-10s even have a you know, heavy trigger, but you know you can always put lighter ones in there. But yeah, it's being chambered in 308, it's, uh, you know, everything's a little bulkier. Everything's a little bigger. Uh, of course, this rifle was built to be 308. Uh, unlike the AR-10, which is really a battle rifle that was made to be in 5.56 that was adapted to be 308. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. That's, that's just from the research I've been on the find. Uh, so yeah, these were actually built to withstand that kind of pressure. The other uh, ARs were adapted for it. And, you know, what, what that matters is up to you. And just, that's, that's the reason. <sighs> Suppose a lot of people have problems with AR-10s. I don't own one yet, so I can't I can't speak to that uh, credibility. But yeah, what do you think of the uh, uh, of the Century Arms C three hundred eight Sporter, which is basically just a set me uh, three hundred eight seven six two by fifty one R. I cannot wait to shoot this. <laughs> I've been waiting and waiting. Because uh, every time that I, I wanted to go out and shoot this, somebody else brought a gun up, and uh, you know, I did a, I did a review on their gun first. But yeah, it's it's a coming, it's a coming. I, I already had the ammo for it. I, uh, I've got 150 rounds. Or I'm sorry, 160 rounds. So, oh, not to mention, I have now 500 rounds of 7.62 by 39. Now I have plenty of rounds to be able to do the AK video that where I'm adjusting the binary trigger to make it run faster. That's coming up. A pistol in 25 ACP is coming up. Um, a target uh, Ruger MK3 is coming up uh, in 22 long rifle. Uh, I got a couple different hunting rifles coming up. A semi-auto shotgun coming up. I've got a lot of different things coming down the line. <laughs> uh, once again, so uh, and yeah, to. Uh, to break these things down, I'm going to do the explanation in, uh, in a video like this and then do the shooting video in another one and try to keep the shooting video around 10 to 12 minutes and the explanation uh, below 20. 
So right now I am, uh, once I want to edit this probably around 15. So I'm going to end it here. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. That helps out this channel a whole lot. Uh, if you, you know, uh, if you want to donate to the channel, that is always a uh, possibility. You get your name at the end of every video for helping out Brands Ballistics. You can donate, uh, you can help the channel out in many different ways. One is just liking the video, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. But if you want to help out uh, in a more substantial way, you can always uh, do it financially. To the, uh, I'll be donating to the ammo slash gun fund. Uh, or by donating ammo, that's a big, big help. <laughs> Especially if you have six, five grand, though. I can't find that. Anywhere. <laughs> uh, but, uh, or if you uh, have a gun that you'd want to be on, uh, either you yourself want to be on Brandon's Ballistics uh, with a gun of your choosing, you can, uh, we can make that work out. Or if you want me to do a review on your gun, that is also a great way of supporting Brandon's Ballistics. And like I said, you get your name at the end or at the end of every video. So uh, if you want to see everybody who has currently held up Brandon's Ballistics, just stay tuned and you'll see that. If you want to see how to get a hold of me to be able to you know, be a supporter of Brandon's Ballistics yourself, uh, at the first end card after I quit yapping will be uh, the different ways to contact me. So, uh, Or just leave a comment in this YouTube video or any other of my videos. And I'll find a way to get a hold of you. <laughs> so yeah, I already said like, so make sure to leave a comment. What do you think of the Century Arms C-308 Sporter Rifle, uh, which is basically just a set me. Uh, normally, they, they're not this collar. Uh, pretty sure this was, uh, you know, hand done. But they did a good job on it. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong, because, I mean, it's, they did a, a good job on it. So, <laughs> make sure to share this video around with your friends and family. And definitely, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, like I said, only like five to six percent of people that watch this, uh, that watch Brandon's Ballistics, is subscribed. So you'd be helping out immensely uh, by subscribing. Not to mention, you'd make him happy. Yeah, look how sad he is that y'all ain't subscribed. See how sad he is. All you gotta do to make him happy is hit that subscribe button, and he'll be a happy kitty. So don't let Oliver down. Hit that subscribe button now. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.